Hey, good morning and welcome everybody. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I appreciate you tuning in. Guys, you could be doing anything in the world right now with your family or your friends and you decided to watch a, a few minutes of my video. And I appreciate that very much, guys. And I hope that you guys will subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Guys, this is video two of a seven video series I've been making uh, about uh, using Facebook strategies, your own Facebook profile to generate leads build relationships, uh, create sales and commissions for your online business. Okay, guys, I'm on a journey right now to, to share with people, to teach people how to build a residual income in 10 to 14 to 16 months and possibly help them walk away from their current situation, maybe quit their job, you know, maybe take their family, you know, on that awesome vacation you've been thinking about. Maybe, maybe buy yourself a new vehicle or get yourself a new place, you know, whatever it is your dream is. Whatever it is your vision is, I would like to be part of that. I would like to try to help you accomplish that, you know, if you'll let me, okay? And so let's jump right in here on video two. There's going to be seven of these videos. I'll do a post inside the group, and then I'll make a video on that post, okay? And so I'll have it on Facebook, and I'll also have it on YouTube, okay? So you guys can read through it. And also in the description box, I'll put a link to that Facebook training group so you can join me there and you can take advantage of all these free trainings that I provide. Okay, guys, and I appreciate that. And usually uh, at the end of the video or in the description box, I'll put the link to the business opportunity that I've been using for a couple of years now to generate a residual income, a walk away from your, your current nine to five job income, if you will, guys. And possibly if you guys will take serious action or be committed on a daily basis right here, this could work for you, okay, guys? And so let's jump right in here, guys, on video two, The Art of Branding Yourself Made Easy. And happy Friday to you guys. Okay, a long time ago, one of the folks on Facebook, one of my mentors, told me something powerful. He said, Mark, he said, people join people in business who they know, they like, and they trust. And I thought, what in the world does that mean? And I don't know anybody on social media, so how in the world am I going to build a presence or build a relationship with people? Nobody knows me. Nobody likes me. Nobody trusts me. It's not that they don't like me. They simply don't know me, okay? And so what that basically means is you brand yourself or frame yourself on the social media platform as an authority, as somebody who knows what they're doing online so that people come to you, talk to you for advice, you know, they get mentorship and they get sponsorship from you, okay? So even if you're not a leader, you still want to look like you leader until you actually know what it is you're doing, okay, guys? And I'm going to help you with that. And, and as I said on this, this video right here, this is the art of branding yourself made easy. And so we're going to really specifically focus in to guys, today, guys, on your Facebook uh, page. You know, you're, you're just when somebody clicks on your name and goes to your page, what is it they see? What is it that stands out about you? What is it that says to them, now that guy or that girl right there looks like somebody that I want to join, and so they send you a friend's request, you know, or they look down through your content or your posts, and they go, well, I like that, I like that, I want to join this person right here. So we're going to focus on that today. going to be a short video, maybe eight or nine minutes, guys, and I hope you get some value from it, okay? And a lot of you guys are all over the place on Facebook, and you need to be very specific about your Facebook profile if you're going to use it as a way to develop relationships and build your business, okay? And these are some tips and some tricks right here that I highly encourage you to use. I've been using them. A lot of other successful marketers have been using them, so I know they're tested strategies that absolutely work, okay, guys? Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in. It this really comes down to five things, guys. We're going to talk about these top three, but it really comes down to five simple things, okay? Your profile picture, your cover picture, your bio, that section over there that tells a little bit about yourself, what it is you do, why you're on Facebook, your posts, and your settings, okay? I'll cover four and five in the next video, but I really want to focus on these three right here, okay? I mean, that's really it, guys. What Facebook gives us to work with, and we need to make sure that each of these sections are completely on point and looking great, looking fabulous, you know, just looking like, okay, I'm the guy or I'm the girl that wants to teach you, that wants to show you, that wants to provide you value and help you get to the next level with your business opportunity. Not all over the place, not a bunch of rigmarole about politics or religion or, or fighting with people on, on Facebook. You don't want to do that. If you're using your Facebook uh, page as a way to generate leads and traffic and sales to your online business, okay, guys? And so your profile picture, guys, it really is, is no need to overcomplice, guys. It really is simple stuff, guys. 
okay? It really needs to be a clear shot of your head, your head shot, maybe you smiling, you know, no pictures or cartoons, no quotes. You must have a high quality picture of your face, maybe smiling or, or something. I'm usually not smiling on mine as much as I am on the videos, but you know, hey, somebody wants to see you. They don't want to join your dog or your cat or your, your symbol or something like that. And please don't be wearing sunglasses. People want to connect with you. They want to see a friendly face. They want to know, well, I, I like that guy or I like that picture right there. I think I might connect with that person right there, okay? So you can jump over to mine if you want to, guys. I put the link right in there, and I'll have that link in the description box so you can have a look at my uh, Facebook profile picture, okay, guys? Come down here a little bit farther, guys. We're going to talk about your cover photo, okay, guys? The rules are very similar. Remember, you want to brand yourself as a leader, okay? And people will treat you like one. Do not have a picture of your company or your products, okay, on your cover photo. Just don't do that. What people do is they will sponsor shop you and, f and look at your business. They'll go to Google. They'll see what the business is about, and they'll sponsor shop you and join somebody else. So don't, please don't put the name of your company on your, your cover photo or your link to your business opportunity. Just simply don't do that, guys. You're only hurting yourself. You're only shooting yourself in the foot. Please don't do that. I don't want you to do that. I want you to have success, guys. Okay. Uh, I like cars. I'm a car guy. I like Mustangs. I like Fords. I like trucks. So if you go to my page, you'll see a picture of a car. You know, it's an old Sunbeam Tiger 1967. It's an old Ford, and I like old cars. So I might gravitate towards men or, or folks that like cars. You know what I'm saying? But you can also put flowers or something eye-catchy, beaches or oceans, something you like to do, something you like to fish, maybe a family event, something like that. Something that's attractive, something that's going to cause somebody to go, well, that person's a lot like me. I think I might connect with that person. Or it gives them a greater chance of commenting on your post, liking your post, sharing your post, that kind of thing right there, and engaging, and you build that relationship. Because after all, guys, at the end of the day, success with our business online, in this industry right here, is about building relationships. It's not about a bunch of solo ads and clicks and stuff like that. It's about talking to people, you know, building relationships, people that you have stuff in common with, people that have some of the same goals or some of the same visions, you know, in their dream that you might have, okay? So, and if you're drawing a blank on that, you can just go to Google, you know, and, and you can uh, find other leaders and see what they've got on there and get some sort of idea of what you should be putting on your page until at, le until it, at some time you do have some cool stuff to share on your page, okay? So go ahead and do that if you want, okay? Guys, your bio, your biography, that's on the left side of your page. Let's see, uh, that's on the left side of your page right there. It tells about you guys. It's pretty self-explanatory there, okay? There are a few things you want to make sure that you have on there to brand yourself as a leader so people know what it is you're about, okay? You want to fill out the section for one. Don't make it long and drawn out and you, you, you went to kindergarten here and high school there and you're a member of this church and, and your Twitter and all this stuff. You guys want to get directly to the point and tell people exactly what it is you do. Okay, why they might want to join you, why they w might want to connect with you. Okay, guys, I see so many people just leaving it blank or they put follower of Christ or mompreneur. All those are wonderful things, guys. I'm a follower of Christ, but that doesn't tell people that I'm a marketer and that I can help them with their marketing, okay? I absolutely love Christ, okay? No problem there, but it doesn't tell people what I do. Maybe if you want to do that, you create an extra Facebook page where you keep your personal family and friends over there. That's a whole nother video, okay, guys? Guys, it's very short, it's simple, and it works. When people read my bio, there's no confusion about specifically what it is I do and what I'm about and how I can help them. Okay? They don't have to wonder. They don't have to scroll up and down, go over here, go over here. They go, well, this guy is a marketer. This guy said he can help me with a residual income. That's something that I might be interested in, so I'm going to click that fellow's page. Just like you young ladies and you other men right there, people want to join you. They're looking, they're seeking, they're reaching out, they're looking on your page going, who is somebody I can join? Who is somebody that can help me? Who is somebody I can connect with that can take me to the level that is already living that life or doing that thing that I want to be doing? So you want to have your page set up totally awesome, totally perfect, so you'll create that curiosity and you'll create that, you know, hey, you're waving a flag over here, hey, I am ready, willing, and able to help you do those things that you want to do, okay guys? 
So those are the three core things that you want to have right out of the gate because you only have people's attention span for a very short time, guys. And so you want to capture it as quickly as you possibly can, okay? Great profile picture, you smiling, or me, I don't smile too much. I do all my videos. Your cover photo, something that you do, something with your family, something exciting, something fun, a beach, you fish, I like cars, that kind of thing right there. Not your company, not your link, not some sort of uh, business deal like that, okay? You want to position yourself as authority. You want to posture yourself as somebody that people want to join. They're excited about what it is you're doing. They can connect with you on that same level that you're on. It doesn't matter if they're younger, if they're older. If they can see something on your page, something on one of those three things right there that creates enough curiosity that they want to click you know, friends with you, you can create a conversation. It's an icebreaker, so to speak, where you can talk to people. And, hey, it's Mark. Thanks for clicking on my photo, you know, or thanks for clicking on one of my posts. How's it going over there? You know, different things like that. You know, that's a different video I'm going to make, but this primarily right here is how to brand yourself right on your Facebook page right there when people come to it. I know those are simple pros uh, steps. I know those are simple strategies, but you wouldn't believe the people that just won't do it, okay? Please do that. They, they are proven strategies. They work. I've been doing them. You know, I learned them a long time ago. I continue to do them, guys, and they work for me, and they will work for you, okay? So let's come down a little bit farther, guys. There's two more, your posting and your settings. Okay, of course you want to have your settings on public, so you want everybody to be able to see you, not just four or five people, right? And then I'm going to talk to you about posting in the next video right here, okay, on video two, I think it is, guys. We're going to cover that in the next one, because posting is very, very important. What you post, how often you post, why you post, who you post to, and different things like that, okay, guys? And so that's video two for the day, guys. I hope that gave you a little bit of value. I hope that gave you a little bit of uh, that light bulb moment where, hey, I didn't think of that. You know, I didn't think about doing that. You know, I've been kind of just hoping I could join, you know, and people would, a business and people would join me. Okay, guys, hope is not a strategy, and I don't teach you hope. I teach you proven strategies on the Facebook platform right there so that you can build relationships you can uh, have people join your business opportunity. And like I said, when I first started this series right here, guys, I'll have video three tomorrow. In, say, 10 to 14 or 18 months, we can have you positioned where you can possibly walk away from your current situation, right? Or as I said before, take your family on that great vacation, okay? So guys, look in the description box below this video. I have the link to my Facebook group where there's totally free training right there. I'll have the link to the opportunity that I've been using to build a residual income now for a couple of years. Okay, guys, I'll have my personal information in there so that you can reach out and contact me. We can talk, we can schedule a meeting, and you can let me know what it is you're up to, what it is you're trying to accomplish, okay? I'm not just gonna shoot you a link and go, hey, join me. I wanna know what it is you're trying to do, what kind of money you're trying to make, what sort of effort that you can give this, because this is a serious business opportunity, and I'm looking for serious folks, guys, and I'm trying to provide you with as much value and as much content as I possibly can totally free so that you can take your business opportunity to the next level or you can lock arms with me walk with me the next 14 to 18 months we can have you just looking fantastic and you won't have to worry about getting a stimulus check or worrying about uncle sam or worrying about social security and those kind of things right there okay guys thank you for watching the video too here guys i'll see you on the video tomorrow video three okay look in the description box below this video for that information right there guys Click the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for the next video, and I will see you on tomorrow's video, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.